On behalf of my council colleagues and after a much needed summer recess, I am pleased to share that your Wilmington City Council is officially back in session and ready to finish the second half of this legislative year in service to the residents of this great city. Over the summer recess, a lot has happened in Wilmington and I want to address a few of those things and share some important information about upcoming council related events and activities. First, by way of information, City Council meetings have resumed and the next meeting is scheduled for Thursday, September 7th. As always, I encourage you to attend, participate, and be informed about your local government. I would like to update you on my Community Conversations with City Council initiative that was kicked off in July. As Council President, my goal is to engage Wilmington residents in their neighborhoods to share important city-specific information, but more importantly, to listen to you. And that's what Community Conversations with City Council is all about. To date, in partnership with Police Chief Robert Tracy, Council has held town halls and neighborhood walking tours in five of the eight districts across Wilmington. We have engaged hundreds of Wilmington residents business owners and visitors in conversations about public safety. I believe strongly that civic engagement is a critical component to our ongoing efforts to address and resolve the multitude of quality of life issues facing our city. And so, I want to thank the residents of Wilmington for coming out, sharing their concerns, and actively participating in the overall effort to improve public safety in our city. For information about the remaining Community Conversations with City Council events, please tune in to WITN Channel 22 or connect with City Council on social media. Finally, I want to comment on the incidents of hate, intimidation, and vandalism committed in the 7th District. These cowardly acts of racism and intolerance do not reflect who we are as Wilmingtonians or Americans, and there is simply no place for such acts of hatred. But on a brighter note, our summer was filled with positive, community-based, culturally astute, artistically creative, resourceful youth and family activities, which fulfilled a few of the recommendations of the CDC Wilmington Community Advisory Council to address the root causes of the accelerated use of guns by our youth. Together and only together, we can move Wilmington forward as a truly great world-class city we can be proud to call home. I'm Hanifa Shabazz, you're president of Wilmington City Council. Have a great week, Wilmington.